As we've seen, the private debt markets in the US and Europe really took off after the financial crisis, as private debt funds moved into the space vacated by the banks. Investors have shown strong appetite for these types of funds as they look for yield in a low interest rate environment. That's right. And because of that, we have over the past few years asked investors about their plans for future commitments to the asset class. Interestingly, four years ago, two-fifths of investors reported a planned acceleration in their commitments, whereas less than one-fifth of investors reported a planned slowdown. However, after asking investors about their pace of commitment to these types of funds in our most recent barometer, we found that these commitments appear to be plateauing. Uh, today, an equal number of investors are slowing down commitments to private debt funds over the next two years as those investors looking to accelerate these commitments. We did have an idea that investors were starting to exercise some more caution considering where we are in the economic cycle. Also, the large amount of capital raised for these types of funds brings with it its own challenges as highlighted in the findings of our most recent barometer. Another finding is that three quarters of investors are concerned about increased amounts of capital from the many private debt providers leading to lower returns as there's more competition for the transactions. A similar number of investors are worried about covenants. And covenants should actually provide debt investors with a good level of protection. However, the increased competition in the market over the past years has led to a loosening of terms and a reduction of their protection. In connection with credit quality, default rates are also a concern. Here, four-fifths of investors see an increase in default rates as one of the most significant challenges for private debt and credit funds over the next three years. As an asset class that developed and thrived post-financial crisis, it'll be interesting to see how private credit and private debt funds rise to the current challenges and really evolve in the future.